Are you serious? Are you serious? Now, folks, <clears throat> I want to thank Terry Sowers for this report. I have been saying now for about three or four months that I am expecting a removal of Kim Jong-un as the dictator of North Korea. I believe he'll be either A, captured in a coup or assassinated simply because his radical, literally radical and evil oppression upon the North Korean people is to the point that it's intolerable. It, it, they can't handle him no more. It's one thing that North Korea is isolated from the world, and that started from his grandfather and his father. It's another thing to do the brutal, brutal executions and tortures of innocent people that go on constantly in North Korea. And when he threw his uncle, who was second in command, stripped him down naked, threw him in a cage of 120 hungry hound dogs that hadn't been fed in five days and was eaten alive, and all of his aunt and family and cousins and everybody just executed. When, the, when, it, when he completely killed some of the top and most respected uh, military leaders and political leaders within the country. Everyone knows nobody's safe. And when everyone knows that nobody's safe, everyone knows something has to change. And matter of fact, China has anticipated his removal. And the plans that China has for North Korea in case of regime collapse, their plans leaked this week. Beijing's lack of faith in the rule of Kim Jong-un exposed in a contingency plan to detain key North Korean leaders, set up border refugee camps, and respond to foreign forces. Now, China has drawn up a detailed contingency plan for the collapse of the North Korean government under Kim Jong-un, suggesting that Beijing has little faith that the longevity of Kim Jong-un's regime will be sustained. Documents drawn up by planners from China's People's Liberation Army that were leaked to Japanese media included proposals for detaining key North Korean leaders, the creation of an internment camp, here in America we would call it FEMA camps, and also... Chinese side of the frontier in the event of an outbreak of civil unrest in the secret of state of North Korea. Now, the report calls for stepping up monitoring of China's 879-mile border with North Korea. Folks, uh, they can't... I'm telling you, I'm telling you, something's going on internally in North Korea. Something, there's a seed has been planted. There's a, there's a spirit of, of a coup, I believe, that is being birthed within the bowels of North Korea. And it may be coming from the power of prayer of the body of Christ, of the persecuted Christians who are praying, God, please deliver us from this tyrant. Set us free as you did the children of Israel as we're crying out to you in these last days. I want you to be much in prayer. Uh, I'm telling you, I just don't see him lasting much longer. I, and there's no indications. I, this is the first time I've seen anything in writing or any kind of report that would even be, that would give you the slightest suspicion that Kim Jong-un uh, may be removed. Let's keep an eye on what's going on. And, and in these last days, the Bible says there'll be wars and rumors of wars. Nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And it also says that, uh, that there would be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. What? Are you serious? The end of Kim Jong-un? It would make for a much, much, much better opportunity for the people of North Korea. God bless. In Jesus' name, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, but pray for the people of North Korea that they find peace.
peace in Christ.